I'm sitting in Thierry Neuville's Qatar M Sport World Rally car. Hi Thierry. I can barely see you. Why am I sitting so far back? Yeah, that's quite easy to explain because uh, the engineers always wanted the core driver as low as possible because uh, okay, the core driver maybe is 17, 80 kilos and for us it's very important to have the weight of the car as down as possible to have as more or uh, as most grip as we can get so uh, we always try to put everything as down as possible except the driver because he needs to see the road. And so when you're driving along your co-driver is shouting out notes are you thinking about what he's telling you or are you thinking about what's coming next on the corner? It depends uh, I think over a few years in World Rally Championship you learn the stages and you know a bit what's coming but uh, still you need to hear your co-driver because every year the pace notes change a bit and then if you are new like me then you need to have uh, full confidence in your co-driver and what he's reading because otherwise uh, you will crash uh, quite quite soon. And so talk me through we've, what we've got here we've got steering wheel gear stick but it's not quite the same as what I drive at home? No, it's maybe a little bit easier because okay, we have the steering which is very direct. If I want to turn completely to the right, I just need to turn like this and I'm full. Uh, so it's very easy for us. We don't need to handle too much. Then we have the, the gear shifter where we just push to put up the gears. We can change this gear very quickly. We don't need to take the clutch. Uh, we stay on full throttle and just pull on the, on the gear stick and uh, then the car change the gear so uh, we make very quickly gear changes like uh, a few milliseconds uh, to put the next gear on so uh, it's very impressive uh, during driving and then uh, very important as well yeah. in some scary moments we need to ha take the handbrake or in some happens to turn around and uh, so we just take the stick stay on the throttle and the car turns and goes forward again and when you when you pull on the handbrake fly straight back or you're kind of locked in in the, in the seat? No, 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 we have our seat belts so uh, like you can feel normally Quite it's very tight and then uh, we can't move in the seat, the seats are made for us so we can't move and uh, we are really fixed in the car, it's just the, the steering and the gear changes otherwise nothing is moving, just the hands. And today you've been out on the roads in the shakedown, what's it like out there? We've, it's been snowing, we know that. Yeah, uh, honestly it was snowing in the morning and uh, okay, we got the good tires on, the snow tires on, but still very slippery conditions, so you need to be very careful on the braking, especially uh, to be sure to, to slow down the speed enough for the corner, otherwise you went straight. And uh, yeah, as well, on the, when you go back on the throttle, the car starts to slide, so uh, it's a completely different rhythm than you use usually when it's a lot of grip or even on gravel. And are you feeling ready for tomorrow, the start of the Monte Carlo rally? I think we're all feeling ready, but uh, nobody knows really about the conditions for tomorrow. So uh, it will be quite difficult and uh, I think all the drivers are always a little bit afraid about this rally because uh, many things have happened all the years uh, in the past. So I'm sure again this year uh, plenty of things will happen. And, and what are you most looking forward to? Because there's a new stage, isn't there, this year? There are a few new stages. Uh, one stage was new, complete, completely new for all the drivers. So uh, maybe for, for us who are new, uh, it can be as well an uh, opportunity to show some great speed uh, because the other guys have no dis uh, advantage. So otherwise, okay, we got some snow in this stage. We already know, we have seen it on the wacky. So uh, again, the tire choice will be very important. And you're quite young, is that going to work in your favour or are the experienced drivers going to have the upper it hand? It depends, uh, most of them, uh, fast drivers are between 22 and uh, 30 years old, except Sebastian Loeb who is now older but still uh, always fighting for victory. But uh, okay, it depends most of experience and how many years you're already into the WRC, but uh, the age is not the, the problem. And are you aiming for podium or are you aiming just to gain experience working with the team? Definitely in Monte Carlo I just aim to finish the rally and to maybe get some points at the end to finish in the top 10. But uh, okay, for the rest of the season then we start to think about uh, pushing harder and uh, maybe in the middle of the season start to get podiums and uh, I hope uh, at least one victory this year. Perfect, well we'll see you in Monaco. Thank, Thank you. you very much.